Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, another ARC exploration. Today, I'm going to walk you through spawn zones in ARC Aberration. So we're going to go ahead and jump on in here and uh, show you around the first spawn zone. So, let's take a peek. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And let me just start off real quick by saying thank you. Thank you for everybody who has stuck by me from the start all the way through my missing break that I was forced to take because the computer went and stuff. Um, thank you for those who have joined just before that issue. Thank you for those who joined while I was um, gone and you guys have found my videos and just kind of watched the old stuff um, and subscribed. I appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. So without further ado, time to show you around the spawn points. Now originally the easiest and easy zones um, were pretty screwed up. They were like scorched earth where their easy zones weren't easy they were hard and the hard zones were easy. <laughs> so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start here at the portal um, which is the easiest supposedly and uh, we'll see and take a look around and give you a little heads up of a few little tidbits of what we're other words, they're hard. Okay, so now I'm playing on a server that's got a bunch of other people, so every now and then you'll find random people's places like that one. So, um, you can see here that there's probably, there's quite a few layers and levels to each zone. So like we're on the bottom most layer here, and then there's like a secondary layer up there, and then the surface is up through that area up there. Um, <clears throat> these mushroom trees here, these these ones, and um, these mushroom cap trees here, which kind of look like dirty red russet potatoes from the top, in my opinion. Um, they give you wood and thatch. They also give you fungal wood. Um, let's show you here. And fungal wood looks like what? What does that look like to you guys? Yeah, that's right, a discarded cigarette butt. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, that could be used as you would use it any other regular wood for crafting, for making charcoal, for gunpowder, etc., etc. Uh, so, I also want to show you that the there are several different types of crystal um, formations, but the green, the blue, and the purple ones actually give you gems and iron ore. Or an, an element ore, but that's a whole nother story with that for later. For now, these give you, um, since they're green, they'll give you a lot of green gems and then some, uh oh, whoops. Okay, so the hippie smurf shrooms I stepped on. That's my fault. <laughs> I'm trying to do things here, shrooms. Why are you always going to be screwing me up? All right, so. Yeah, you can see that I've like I've crapped myself a lot. These are the Smurf shrooms, and I say that because they're red capped, um, like Smurfs. If you don't know what Smurfs are? Google it. They're cute little blue creatures. Nothing like the new age cinematic things that Hollywood has recently. Oops, put out. Dang it! <laughs> All right. See, you were choking on poisonous spores, mushroom spores down there in the bottom right suffocating lungs and my health keeps dropping <laughs> and I have 500 health so I can survive two shroom episodes back to back like that without a, much of an issue all right so real quick let's try this again no no ow damn it ah oh, okay <laughs> not going so hot all right, I'll bring you guys right back. All right, folks, um, we're back. So, um, what I was trying to say is, you know, different gemstones come in different crystal formations, green gems, blue gems, and therefore. So usually you'll only ever find a raptor or two or a scorpion or two up in the easiest portal spawning location. Um, you can see here that pretty much the world as we know it has crumbled. Um, I'm going to go with the theory 
that the power supply cells, batteries, and stuff that kept uh, life support to tip-top shape and the holographic skies and land and world we once knew of as the island and the center and Ragnarok and therefore um, they are no longer you know up and running they have crashed and burned and showed us the skeleton uh, of the world of which we've been kidnapped to uh, live on and fight and survive um, so I mean you can build on here on these metal platforms and stuff not terribly sure why you'd want to uh, different levels you've got this up here tier and you got the very bottom tier and then you got like up there and then you have the surface and you know it's pretty cool you got parasaurs that roam around with the dodicarus and the stegos um regular <laughs> regular bushes here give you you know your standard fiber and your standard um berries you can ignore the rates at which i gathering because the gather rates are different here um there are like i think f five types four or five types of mushrooms the acerbic ones act like a narco barrier replacement. The agravic agar ones can help heal you slowly over time. These ones here are aqua shrooms. They're used. These ones are used for um, giving you water restoration, like berries used to, but don't anymore. And over time, um, the it does up your water, but it does decrease your food. So, uh, make sure you have regular food on hand in case you need uh, to eat some of those. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this place is pretty cool. It's like, it's got all your standard resources, your, your thatch and your wood and berries and fiber. And then, you know, your creatures for meat and hide and eggs and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty safe and quiet. I made a turtle fight me. I punched it in the face. It bit me for a little bit, and then it ran away. And I had to go punch it again. The aberrant creatures are a little, yeah, not all there. <laughs> it's typical like regular AIs. All right, so we're in the middle of an earthquake. Um, since we have a stack mod, this crystal here doesn't show up like. Um, it should. The subsidian doesn't show up either. It should show up in chunks like this green gem. So each different biome has different things that will drop from it. Some biomes will have pearls and rare flowers drop from the ceiling along with your stone and thatch and flint. Others will have um, all the gem colors and stone and flint and thatch and wood and stuff like that and um, even items drop from the ceiling but it's really rare and the reason these things aren't showing up like they should as far as like little bitty mini icons of wood or flint or whatever is because we have a stacking mod and that kind of changes it except for the gems because gems aren't in the stacking mod I don't know it's really weird but you can see here that there's like several different layers. There's tons of flatland, guys. All over this map is flatness. Makes it amazing to build. Um, oh, you just got a giant crystal note here. So, like I said, your standard crystal node, you know, giant white crystal, small white crystals. You've got the green clusters down here. Um, hopefully later on I'll run into the blue clusters. Oh, uh, just so you guys know that the largest um, sauropod creature you'll find is a Diplodocus, um, or Diplodocus, however you want to say that. There are no Brontos. That, on the other hand, also turn around and tell you that the um, biggest carnivores you're going to find for the regular carnivores are the Spino and the Carno. And then the aberrant creatures is the Krakenos and the Rock Drake. That's right, guys. 
There is no Giga, there is no Rex, and there is no Titansaur. Um, even though I really like the Ronto and I really like the Giga, it's nice um, to have a change, you know? Um, beehives are all over the place, but these guys are African bees, which are a lot more stronger, powerful, and crazy. Anybody can gather honey from any uh, honey node. And I don't know if server settings change it, but here you can only gather honey every 15 minutes. So, giant bee honey, I can get stung for 6 seconds straight, but I have so much health that I could do this, I think, about 6 times from the regular honey notes. Alright folks, and we're back, and it's dark, and we spawned in next to a spino. So you can see that they have like spots all along their side and stuff that uh, that glow, it's pretty cool. We uh, over here in the Fallen Nexus, which is... Shoot, I can't remember where we spawned. Um, yeah, that's totally good, Anna. Good job there. Um, let me... Ugh, alright. Let me, <laughs> let me see where we are. The Fertile Lake 4 is where we're at. Kinda hard and kinda easy, but um which is called medium. So there's just a ton and ton a ton um of open water here. There's no sharks. Girls and bugs or um there usually are some piranhas hanging around. Well, back down here with our god turtle. <laughs> and our gems. They don't like you stealing their gems. They also drop regular uh, green and blue gems. And uh, yeah, so I run away with the gems as much as possible. Um, so we're here in this spot and being chased still. More red gems. Okay, I'm gonna die. Angry. Maybe it'll attack something else. Oh, nope. Okay, fine. We're going swimming. These guys are really, really, really slow in the water, guys. <laughs> um, both as wild mounts and- oh! What? What? Why are you so quick? Nope. I'm probably gonna die here. <laughs> so, you see the mushrooms up there to the left give off that nice little glow. It's amazing and pretty. All over behind us, those are like giant crystal chunks. I'm out of stamina. Of course I am. Oops. The weird sound glitches because... In the corner. Out in the corner. Oh. Can I make it? Can I make it? The slow process is slow, it just kind of is what it is. You have to work around a lot of different uh, zones to get anywhere. Oh, we have a drop right here. The drops look like deep, uh, deep sea loot crates. Um, and cave drop drops, so. Texas. We're just going to leave that in there. it lights the way. Look, it's a little bulb dog. These guys, um, like I said, they eat the aquatic mushrooms. So if you want one of those, 
just a bunch of shrooms. Save the aquatic ones. Oh, oh, okay. Not creepy at all there, mole rat. You're like still creeping up on me. And you're still slow though, so you can't get to me. You can't get to me. Can you get me? Did you die? I think I drowned. We're not going back to check though. Um, okay. These spinosaurs are having a party. One, two, three, four. Um, maybe it's an orgy party. Maybe it's a Tupperware party. Who knows? Okay. Oh, another roll rat. I don't know if aggro. No, no aggro. Okay. There's a Krakenos over yonder. It's kind of getting into the more scary zone. Another roll rat. Ooh, red gems. Can't. Can't resist the red gems even if I die. Oh, that's not red. Mmm. Tempted. Okay, I'll leave your regular gems there. Now take a look at this and see what we got going on here. Yeah, just a whole lot of nothing. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Stone pipes. Partially broken. Roll rat scared the crap out of me. Um, so roll rats are often the source of those red gems, guys. Um, but as you can see, if you, you know, steal from them, they're gonna turn around and, like, tip. Slowly in the water. Sucka! Well, hopefully sucka. Because I'm running, which means you're running, which means Sarko did the booty. Ah, crap. <laughs> Anyways, I've shown you this guy's, this place. There's, you know, Strana, they glow. Roll rats. Roll rats don't actually glow. It's kind of weird. Um, that, like, out of all the dinosaurs, they're the only ones. Did I don't? Yeah. I think they're the only ones that don't glow. Which is pretty crazy. Um, Alright, and we're back. Um, You can see up in the upper left it says 10% day, 90% night. Now I do know from other spots where it's 50% day, 50% night. Not really sure where those are. But welcome to the upper mushroom forest at night, guys. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> like the whole damn map. I was pretty upset with Wildcard doing their usual thing, pumping us up, blah blah blah, and then going, oh no, just kidding, we need to push it back a few more weeks, and where are they sitting this time? And then they repeat themselves, repeat themselves. Um, but I'm gonna give Wildcard for the first time ever a pass on its little crap. Um, we're gonna say because this fucking map is fucking amazing and uh, I mean my only real complaint honestly is the otters aren't glowy enough and pathways are pretty cool because they're pretty much the pretty much pretty obvious words um, as you can see here and everything looks much different at night there's like not a whole lot of dinosaurs. What the heck? Um, not that I'm complaining, but it would be nice to show. Okay, so see these vines here? These two? These are natural vines. There are green vines and blue vines and purple vines, depending on what particular area you're in. And the vines um, act like natural zip lines, so you as a human can go up and down them um, as long as they're up and down. So, what I mean, like the one up top, you can go down from. You probably can't go back up because you would need a zipline motor. Over there is, whew, over there's the blue zone. Also, what I like to call the avatar zone. 
There's a lot of Rectrix here. I don't know who the heck they belong to. Wrong spot, though. We're... We're going to go down anyways. I'm gonna go skirt. Skirt down. And we're taking a little side detour adventure. Excuse me, ignore me, you don't see me. So down there is Avatar World, <laughs> which, you know, glowy, bioluminescent, etc. Nope. Ah, snakes. And here. Ugh, okay, not too bad. Sneaky around the corner. No butt snakes and no face arthropods. I think, I think that's the radiation zone too. So if we go down there, we're not gonna last very long at all. Um, but I'm gonna do it for you guys because I like exploring. And the best way to see a map and explore it is to go, in my opinion, on foot. And uh, that way you lose stuff, you don't have to really feel, oh boy, that's gonna hurt too bad. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, so, oh, I was gonna say I was gonna be right back for healing myself, but, uh, there's none of that going on. We've got, um, snake on our butt. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh. Amazing! <laughs> so, a zipline. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not entirely sure how to get off. Okay. Um, so, suck it, snake! <laughs> um, I'm gonna sit here and heal up just a tiny bit, uh, then we'll uh, bring you back. Alright, so we're not terribly healed. And there is a dinosaur down there. I think it's a Megalosaurus. And kinda hoping kinda going to get down here. Um oh look, crystal. Without getting my face like eaten. I don't know. No healing shrooms there. Arthur Four is there. Sneaky, sneaky, while I shoot around. Played freezing death shrooms. Right now, touching one of those. Otto would not survive that. Um, if you do end up touching freezing death shrooms, if you have the water shrooms, the healing shrooms, and some meat, you can easily um survive that. Otherwise you curl up legitimately in and do the shivery, shaky, which I'm quality. So Arthur Poor and Enki, Anadon, another one. Let's see. We can just skirt around here. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. You don't see us. Nothing sees us. We are safe. Invisible. Nothing sees us. Nothing sees us? Okay, good. Get over here. I'm gonna give you guys a sneaky peek. Look at the prettiness. Don't tell me that doesn't look like it. Absolutely stunning. Amazing. Blows my breath away. Every time. Eee, I don't know where we're going, but we're going... Let me do a view. This is a terrible zipline. 
I mean, could be worse. Okay. See, here's the purple natural vines I was talking about. Sarko and a crab. Yeah, this is like ridiculously danger zone. Um, Sarkos and frogs in the water. Frogs aren't what bother me. I'm not sure if I should jump down there just yet. Oh, oh, no, no, mm-mm, nope. Wait, down there. Safer. Well. Terrible. Looks like a roll rat right there. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys these shrimps real quick. They usually hang around the blue. Crystal. You stuck, Mr. Rorat? Okay. Huh. Well, there wasn't any there. Oh, did I see? Okay, I'm just gonna leave your gems because I'm busy. I have to show the people. I really take your gems and run. Crazy scary down here, guys. Crazy scary. So real quick. Really can't tell. That's kind of where we are. <laughs> but terribly good. Taking me between an Arthur Pura and you. Purple flowers are pretty. And away. Way, way down here and hope to God. Oh, so eels to our left. Oh, ravagers to our right. We're, we're dead. <laughs> no doubt about it. Oh, nameless. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> um. I think this area is also part of the area that you have to take to get to the rock tricks. Um, where? Not entirely sure on that. Did I really just outrun them? Oh, nope. Okay, well, we'll probably get away from the Ravenger, but we're gonna get eeled. <laughs> eeled to death. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the final uh, difficult zone, the edge, and uh, show you where otters spawn. Alright guys, apparently we wandered into <laughs> the one tribe that uh, has got all those rock tricks earlier. Um, so, uh, so there's no way out of the regular gates, which means back into the blue zone of death. Um, which is cool. Um, I don't mind showing you, um, scary places. Oh, well, I mean, maybe we could get out over here. Take a look. Uh, nope. Yeah, see, because they've got that whole area pinned off. Okay, guys. Well, back into the deep, dark blue we go. Not entirely sure. Not the same way we went last time, I don't think. Geronimo, hit the- oh no, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that hurt. No, Nameless, no! Well, we're gonna die here. Um, being chased by the Nameless and <laughs> Anna's not taking her time. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're gonna try this again. Okay, so that's where we spawned. That's where we've been. I was just kind of hoping. I guess I'll just show you. Um, they originally. Which is the location I live. Yeah, it's pretty flat and pretty. And, oh, what do you know? Nearby. These are our neighbors. And all of those, uh, 
doors over there. Um, gates, that's, uh, that's part of my area. Go ahead and show you real quick. Plenty of uh, glow bugs spawn in this area. Pretty peaceful, pretty quiet. Every now and then, um, a raptor or a scorpion. Sometimes they usually just fall from the sky more than anything. Yes, things fall from the sky, folks. Over here in this giant puddle of water, you can often find water spawns. That uh, waterfall you can hear over there in that blue hole. That uh, is part of the area that you have to go to get rock drake eggs and stuff. So, water spawns there. There's another, another set of otter spawns, like here with all the fish usually. Usually just chilling, not swimming around or anything. It's kind of weird. I don't see anything there currently, but there are some further up the river. Now the otters are all going to make me look like a liar. Usually amongst, here we go, uh, in the weeds. There we go. See the otter? See him? Earthquake. Pile of otters. Alright, I'll bring you guys back, folks, after the earthquake. Because this is ridiculous. Alright. Now that the earthquake's over, get back in here and show you. Look at otter, otter pile. So they're along this whole river right here. Bye. In the light, they're like 58 ish. The fourth spawn. Slightly further down the river in the quote unquote swamp area, I like to call it. Only because it's got the swamp trees and the um, Pariser. Um, what do you call it? Uh, lily pads. All words. So you see all the lily pads here along the cliff sides across the way and stuff. Now, I usually like to hang out underneath them. So you'll find tons of fish and there probably is not any otters. Of course, I jumped in. Didn't hear. Um, you'll find, you won't find any salmon here. So there you have it folks. That is a place to find otter spawns uh, down in Edge One's River. Remember, if you like what you see, like what you hear, please slam that subscription button. Ring that bell for future uh, notifications of video posting and live streams and even perhaps future events that uh, may happen. And remember that if you like what you see and like what you hear, uh, tap that like button on that video. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, make sure that you have an honorific day or night, wherever you may be. Thanks for watching, folks.